Chris here and welcome to my channel. In today's Five on Friday, I'm going to share with you my summer covers. So if you're new to my channel, this is a series I do each season where I take five books off of my TVR whose covers give me the vibe of the season we're going into, explain why those covers give me that vibe, and then go into them blind to find out if they actually are set in the season, whose vibes their cover gives me. So first up, I'm going with Savvy by Ingrid Law. And the reason I chose this one is because I feel like we're looking at a summer storm. Because you've got like the swirls up here and then like all of the power. And it just, it feels like a kind of storm you would see in the middle of a summer on a hot day. And yeah, that that's really all I've got. It just very powerfully makes me think of a summer storm. So we shall see if it is set in summer or if there's a storm in it or if this has absolutely nothing to do with weather at all. Next, I'm going with Wish by Barbara O'Connor and this also gives me summer vibes. So we have a girl in a short sleeve shirt and that makes me think it is warm out and they're in a field of grass and there's what looks to be fireflies out and I associate that with summer and it just looks like a summer sunset. So I think that really gives me summer vibes and I'm assuming it's gonna have something to do with this girl and this dog maybe meeting in the midst of summer. The next book I've chosen is Echo's Sister by Paul Mosier. And the reason I have chosen this is because you have a girl laying in grass and flowers, which again, summer, with a girl in a dress flying a kite. And to me, that screams summer more so than spring, because it feels like maybe these girls are on summer vacation and are outside playing, enjoying the lovely weather. I mean, she even looks like she might be barefoot. And again, that is something I would associate more with summer than spring because you're going to have less mud because you're going to have less of the like rain showers and the melting snow that you would get in summer. Because this to me looks like a city. So it makes me think they're maybe even New York City possibly. So yeah, I think this is set in summer because you're seeing a lot of clothes and a lot of things that I would associate with that season. Then this one feels very much on the nose and like there's no way I couldn't have chosen it. And that's The Firefly Summer by Morgan Matson. So this is obviously got some kids in canoes. They all definitely look like they are dressed for summer. There is a camp sign up here. So I'm assuming they're at summer camp and the word summer is in the title. So I would be really, really surprised if the Firefly Summer was not at least partially set in summer because... Otherwise, why would you have a very, very summery cover that looks like the kids are at summer camp and call it Flyer Fly Summer? So, yeah, I feel I feel like this is a pretty obvious one. And in that vein, I'm going with Summer of 69 by Ellen Hildebrand. So we have a bunch of people at the beach. They're in the ocean. They're surfing. That certainly seems like something you would do in summer. Again, it's the summer of 69. So I'm assuming this book is going to be set in the summer of 1969. I actually had three options for Ellen Hildebrand that I could have picked because I also own 28 Summers and Silver Girl and they both have similar kind of covers and Summer is in the title of one but I did not want to pick three Ellen Hildebrand books because I've never read her before. I kind of like having maybe a few that seem right on the nose because sometimes that means absolutely nothing and I like having a few that are kind of open to interpretation because it is always interesting to see whether my vibes of summer actually mesh with the book. So I looked at these and went, you know what, this one seems the most summery of the three based on just the cover art. So I'm going to go with this one. So there you have it. These are my picks for my next round of seasonal covers. Do you have a book on your TBR whose cover gives you summer vibes? Let me know in the comment section below. All of my social media is linked in the description below if you'd like to come chat with me. If you've made it this far in the video, leave me summer themed emojis. Like this video and subscribe to my channel and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!